Bobby here with Body by Bobby in the house. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Summertime, man. Summer's coming soon. People be asking me, hey, man, how I cut? What should I do to cut? I'm trying to lose weight. I'm trying to get a little, little muscle tone to show, you know? This is my advice. The best thing I can say about cutting, and I've cut twice in my life, and the, the way I approached it is... I'm going to put this link in the description. There's a BMR calculator you need to actually start with. Okay, this is how I did it. You get your BMR, you know, your basic metabolic rate of how many calories you burn a day without doing anything. You know what I'm saying? Well, I guess you throw your activity level in there, but your base of what you burn. Okay, so take that number. If it's 2,000 calories, we'll just make it around 2,000 calories. You take that number, right? What you need to do is start eating and you have to, it's going to be tedious guys, but you have to track your calories and that shit sucks. Like I don't even like doing it, but if you're serious about what you want, like how bad do you want it? How bad do you want to be, you know, shredded or cut up or how bad do you want to lose weight? It, it, it's tedious. So take that number, we'll say it's 2000 and you need to eat that starting on, if Monday is good for you, Sunday, whatever day is good for you. Weigh yourself before you start, okay? And the best time to weigh yourself is in the morning after you use the bathroom. That's when it's like your true weight, you know? You got no food on you, all your food's digested. You got no waste on you, all that's, you know, gone. You already went to the bathroom, done, boom. That's your true weight. I say it's your true weight. Weigh yourself and then you start this diet, okay? So you weigh yourself in the morning. Let's say it's Monday morning. Got it, write it down, whatever. Then you need to start eating that caloric intake of whatever number you found. So we said 2,000. So eat 2,000 calories a day for seven days. Once you roll back around to that Monday, you weigh yourself again. Like I said, right when you wake up, use the bathroom, all the food is digested, and you need to track your weight. If you lost weight, that's good. Stay on that diet. You know, If you didn't lose weight, if you stayed the same, you need to dial it back about 200 calories. You know, So that's the best way I've done it. Now, the far, as far as the foods I was eating, I was eating a lot of vegetables and just chicken and turkey, like lean meats, fish. I was doing a lot of smoothies. I got a Nutribullet. I was actually blending up a lot of vegetables and fruits and stuff, but I just was really focused on the caloric intake. Like I had my number and I just stayed at that number and then once I stopped losing weight, I dialed it back and I kept dialing it back until I reached my goal. So. That's what you got to do. That's the best way I can say do it, you know. I mean, do whatever the hell you want to do. But that's just how I did it. And I actually got some pretty good results. So, like I said, try that calculator down there. Get your number. Start with that number. And just go from there. You got to really figure out what's maintenance for you. Everybody's body's different, you know. So, that number is going to be a rough estimate. You really don't know until you actually trial and error and it's gonna be a pain in the ass it's gonna take maybe a couple weeks but once you've found that number once you're dialed in on it you can just play around with it you know how much to bulk you increase the calories to bulk or you decrease the calories to to lose weight so try it out guys summer's around we all trying to be ripped you know what i'm saying getting swole over the pool <laughs> i'm gonna holler at y'all